So you want to learn to code, but perhaps you're not sure where to start, what to learn, or how long you should be spending studying. You might even be feeling overwhelmed by the whole process as there's so much information to take in, so many paths to choose from, not to mention all the doomsayers out there telling you it's impossible to self-teach programming. If that sounds like you, then I've got good news. I taught myself how to code and got a job as a software developer, and you can too. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly where you should get started, answer the age-old question of how long you should be spending studying, cover what you should do if you find yourself faltering or struggling to continue, and at the end, I'll go through exactly what you need to learn, what you need to do to get your job as a software developer. My name is James, and I've taught thousands of people how to code through this channel. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button as I upload new Learn to Code videos every single week. Now, before we dive into the what, where's, when's, and how's of learning to code, there's one thing you absolutely have to know before you get started. The number one downfall of most self-taught developers is getting overwhelmed. And the main reason people get overwhelmed is due to the sheer amount of information available on the internet. When I was learning to code, I was all over the place. I was learning one thing, then I'd jump ship, learn something else, and it was just totally uncoordinated disarray. I'd go off and learn a new technology for three weeks, and at the end of it, I'd realize I was no closer to getting my job as a software developer. Especially if you're like me, where there was a time constraint on learning to code, it's really unaffordable and super demoralizing to go off learn something random and then realize it was all for nothing. Fortunately, I learned one solution to this problem. If you know the outcome you're looking for, you wanna become a software developer, you need to find a roadmap that's going to deliver you to that outcome and you need to stick to it like there's no tomorrow. I don't care if you've got commitment issues, you need to be vulnerable, marry that roadmap until it either doesn't work for you or gets you to your destination. So with that covered, we can get to the first question on the list is where should you start your coding journey? And there's actually three options available to you as a new programmer. Number one is for people who are looking to add automation to their life, maybe get into some data science, some data analysis, and the language they'll want to start off with is Python. Python is a super versatile language that's pretty easy to learn. It doesn't take a huge amount of time. There's loads of free learning resources on YouTube, which is where I'd recommend you start your learning journey. And there are absolutely millions of use cases and applications for Python as a language. For example, if you wanted to get into data science, I personally did some stock data analysis when I was getting into it and learning it. Equally, I have a friend who just wants to automate his job. He wants to do less work and automate the hard parts with Python so that he can just chill out for eight hours every day at work and get paid for it. There's loads of opportunities with Python and that is option one. And number two is the trifecta of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This is the path I personally pursued and it's the one I would recommend if you wanna get a job as a software developer. I personally started off learning JavaScript and I think that was a mistake, I'd personally recommend you start off with HTML and CSS. Learning JavaScript took me ages, absolute eons. And the downside of starting off with a language like that is that it takes you forever before you're actually making any progress building your own stuff, whereas HTML and CSS, you could literally watch this tutorial in an hour and a half and have a website live on the internet. You could send it to all your friends and you could change your LinkedIn bio to be software developer. Eventually you'd wanna learn all three, but HTML and CSS makes for a great beginning. And the last one is for those of you who are totally unhinged, you'd wanna climb Mount Everest on day one, it's to learn C or C++ either would be equivalent. I recommend learning both of those for absolutely anybody, but if it's your first language and you're just getting started, only those who are completely psychotic would go with that pathway, but if that's you, then by all means, go hard. So now we know where to start, on to question two, how much time should we allocate to learning? And to answer this question, I first want to address a big misunderstanding that people have when learning to code. There's this mentality around that everybody needs the maximum amount of knowledge. You need to have learned everything before you venture out on your own and start making your own stuff, and you consider yourself a legitimate developer. This is the slow method for getting into code. It takes forever to get a maximum amount of knowledge and technically you probably never even get there. Even once you become a software developer you still have so much to learn. So we really want to discard, absolutely toss out this notion that you need to know everything before you get your hands dirty. Instead, we want to think about it as if it's the minimum amount of knowledge for you to go out and start building stuff that you want to build. It can often be an iterative process because you might go away and realize that you need to learn a bit more, and that's absolutely fine. You can always revisit a learning resource, but as soon as you can, I'd absolutely recommend getting your hands dirty, making your own stuff, and really just manifesting that you are a 10x super hyper mega developer. To answer the question how long you need to spend coding, well, realistically, the answer is quite subjective. In my case, I spent three to four hours five to six days a week learning to code over the course of six months, 
where the first three months was heavily dedicated to learning programming and the latter three months was more about projects. To really answer the question, my recommendation would be the maximum amount of time that you can allocate on a regular basis without feeling overwhelmed or burnout. You're much better to do five minutes every day of the week than do eight hours on a singular day and not touch code for another whole week. Regularity and consistency is key. If you just spend five minutes a day, you can get through an hour long tutorial in 12 days and you can have a project live on the internet. It's definitely the way to go. Consistency is key. Now question number three is what do you do if you feel your progress faltering or you're struggling to continue? And for this, I have two answers for you, both learning from my own experience. When I was learning to code, there were days on end where I would struggle on one particular bug. I remember in Python specifically, smack my head against the wall. It was just too much to handle. And it's experiences like these, especially when you're time constrained on your learn to code journey, that can be an absolute nightmare. They're super demoralizing, absolutely soul devouring. And the mistake I made in this case was not getting a better coding community. All I had was Google and Google can only be so helpful. I personally have a Discord channel I'd recommend you join, but having that accountability, that community can be really empowering and help you through the tough times to get you across the finish line. The second thing I'd absolutely recommend you do, and it kind of ties back into what we talked before, is start building stuff that you enjoy. Find something that you personally relate to. Find a project that you personally want to build out. And the reason this is so important is because if you do get stuck on a bug for three days on end, if you're doing it for something that you want to do, an outcome that you look forward to and you're excited for, you will climb that mountain and you will overcome that hurdle, no stress. If you're just doing it because you feel like you have to, it's just gonna be a terrible process. So if you're having a tough time, definitely make sure you have a support community to look after you and keep you going, hold you accountable. You could even join in in the daily standup in my Discord channel. I do it every single day. It holds me accountable for the things I wanna get done on that day. And obviously also pick things that you enjoy. Build a solution that resonates with you, that excites you, and that will help develop your passion for programming. Now last, but definitely not least, we have what do you need to know to actually get a job as a software developer. And this is something that I personally really resonate with because I obviously wasted a whole lot of time figuring it out all by myself. And consequently, I've spent the last two years working on the ultimate resource to help you do it much better than me. It covers absolutely everything you need to know from the foundations of programming through to front-end programming, back-end server development, and then how to actually tie it all together and get yourself a job. As I mentioned at the start of the video, the roadmap that you choose is absolutely critical. And if you wanna get a job as a software developer in the least amount of time possible, then the roadmap I've built is everything I would do to do exactly that. Everything is modern, it's up to date, and most importantly, there's not 100 million steps and every single step is made so that anyone can understand it. The worst experience is spending eight hours on a tutorial to get to the end and feel like you've learned nothing. And that's an experience that I really don't want you to have. The link to the roadmap is in the description down below and it's got everything you will ever need. So be sure to check that out. And just like that, we've covered everything that is relevant to you if you wanna to learn to code and get a developer job. If you've enjoyed the video, smash the like and subscribe buttons. And with that all said, I'll catch you later. Peace. Learning to code? If so, be sure to check out the learn to code roadmap or dive straight in with these videos. That's a good one.